People like, <laughs> I'm a keyboard warrior. Yeah. That's what we're talking about here. Uh, the keyboard can really embolden people to speak their minds for better or worse. So how can you take that confidence of the keyboard warrior and bring that into like an actual warrior in real life, like warrior in the meeting or in the office place or, or I don't know, just yeah. having conversation with somebody? Well, we have someone here to tell us all about it. We're joined today by communication expert Renee Moreno. Now, she's the author of Becoming a Master Communicator. Now, she's going to show us how to stop using using screens as a mask and be confident, not confrontational communicators. <laughs> Renee, first of all, welcome to the show. Thank you so and much. And happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I get to celebrate it with you beautiful people, so oh, thank, thank you. you. All right, this is a very interesting topic. First of all, break down for us, what is keyboard confidence? Mm. Keyboard confidence is that oh, raw. Know. Oh, you know, you know. I've sent a couple you emails know. like that. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> It's that raw, unfiltered confidence that only happens when behind a screen and typing on a keyboard. Let me give you an example, yeah. as I'm sure you already oh, yes. know. You go on Facebook, you see a friend of yours that you know on a very deep level, and you think to yourself, who wrote that and what have they done with my friend because I know they would never have the confidence to say that in person. Mm. That is keyboard confidence. Yeah. Okay. Or you're like, you know, I'm going to show that. Let me. You get sound, you're like, ooh, what did I just say? Ooh. I've been there before. All right, so what should you say to yourself before you hit that send button on an email? It's all about the beforehand. What okay. you want to do is first take that powerful pause to read back what you wrote and then ask yourself these two powerful questions. That's it, two questions. Okay. The first one, would I be comfortable saying this in person? If the answer is yes, great, post away, send the email, send the text. If the answer is no, then what you want to do is rewrite it in the way you would be comfortable saying it in person. Okay, so you're going to show us how to do this. Let's go over some ways to be a master communicator, starting with something you should do when you first wake up. What yes. is that? Oh, when we wake up, that is the best time of day because it's when we can start our day in alignment by asking ourselves this one question, how am I feeling? Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. take pen to paper to write the answer. Why not type it in the notes app on our phone? Because research shows when we write we activate more parts of the brain, and instead of grabbing that smartphone, smartphone from our nightstand, mm -hmm. yeah. thinking about what others are doing, let's stay connected to ourselves through writing and answering, how am I feeling? Okay. I All right. Sometimes I know small talk can be a, a, a pretty big deal for some people. Uh, so what are the ways to get better at making that light conversation? Oh, how's the weather? Man, it's raining outside. <laughs> Just that stuff that, you know, it's like, eh, but, yeah. It's a lost art, though, my <laughs> friends. Small talk, I love it so much because you never know if that person sitting next to you ends up becoming the person you fall in love with. So when you're mm. out and about, put that smartphone out of sight so you're not tempted. Have yeah. your head up out, seeing the world, yeah. connecting with the people next to you. you it know is a lost Start, isn't yeah, it? it is. Like no one, like 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 you know, nobody talks anymore. No. We're all on our phones. I, I blame the, the pandemic. Too. Yes, like, yeah. it yes. Has created the separation. Yeah, but human <laughs> beings are meant to connect, and yeah. as yeah. advanced as the world gets through AI, it will never replace human connection. Okay. Okay. So here's one. New Yorkers know the phrase: "If you see something." say something, but how do you apply that to the workplace? Because most people just want to mind their business. Yes, yes, <laughs> this has a little bit of a different meaning. If you see something, say something. And this means if you are at a coffee shop and the person standing in front of you has beautiful eyes or beautiful hair, tell them well. why. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on now. Or a Hold on. smile. Well, now look at that this, smile. This, 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 this is all kinds of wrong. <laughs> Or a beautiful suit, That's whatever the case may be. Yes. Ooh, no. I right. don't know. Yes. No, no. <laughs> Seems, no, no, no. Nowadays, Renee. No, no. Yes, and it seems simple. It seems like, well, why, Renee? That's not a big deal. But we never know what another person could be going through. And maybe by giving yes. that sincere compliment, we pull them out of one of the darkest thoughts that they're having, making okay. their day better, making them realize that there are people out there who care. Yes, or they're like, hey, I was on the subway and some creepy guy told me he liked my dress. And then like, like, who is this guy? Why is he talking to me? Or that. So or that. it could be this or that. I don't know. Just smile and nod. Yes, yes. Thank you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, Renee, thank you so much for joining us thank today. You. And again, happy birthday. Thank you so much. All right.